Hi guys, welcome to the Sunday Art Show. Today I'm going to do a sheep lying down with uh, a landscape in the background. So let's begin by spraying the paper with a light coating of water. And you can see I've already put down the outline of my sheep. So let's begin by blocking in some sky. So just using a mix of Silurian Blue, Titanium White, and just a touch of Burnt Umber. Just to put down this very thin layer. And keeping things nice and fluid. The next layer I'm putting down is a similar mix, but got rather more ultramarine blue in there. What I'm doing now is just pushing the brush through the edge of the paint to give it a textured edge and begin to suggest the presence of some trees and hedgerows off in the distance. Same technique again, but this time a warmer green. So a little bit more cad yellow, and a little bit of yellow ochre, some silurian blue. And let's continue with that same brush. But now we've got a mix of silurian blue and cad yellow. I'm going to use that same colour to begin to put in the distant field using horizontal brush strokes this time. And then somewhat thicker with a touch of red in the mix and very different, more haphazard brush strokes to begin to suggest the foreground grass. So we can really have some fun now just moving the brush around rapidly and in a haphazard fashion. And we'll start to work on the sheep now. So I'm coming in with a rather thicker mix of yellow ochre and titanium white. And I'll begin to block in the sheep, paying attention to the contours of the, of the surface of the sheep, rather than just colour color the animal in. Still using this one inch flat brush. So I've used the same brush all the way through so far. And the great thing about flat brushes is that you can get a huge range of different marks from them. You can use the corner, the edge, the flat of the brush. 
you can twist it, roll it. Uh, so it really is very versatile, very expressive. And it saves a little bit of time, you know, rather than swapping your brush over and over and over again. So it's quite an efficient way to paint. So having blocked in the first layer of paint, a quick spray with water and I've got the same mix on my brush again but this time with rather more titanium white. I'm going to use that to begin to introduce some texture and highlights on our sheet and because I'm using the, um, the interactive acrylic paint, spraying the painting with water allows me to blend one colour into the other. So having introduced a mid-tone and a light tone, next I need to add some shadows. So I'm going in with some purple now, another quick spray with a water bottle. Slightly smaller brush this time. And I'm just very, very lightly brushing the tips of this brush across the surface of the painting. Once again, spraying the paint with water allows me to blend one colour into another. And it also allows me to produce these uh, lovely textures and different styles of brush stroke as well. So just using the corner of the brush there to pick out the position of the eyes. Similar technique for the nostrils. And the mouth.
and I made the shadow a little bit too dark there above the eye but we'll come back and correct that in just a bit So our sheep is starting to take shape. So I'm still using the same colour but I'm just applying the paint a little bit more heavily now just to put in some of the darkest shadows. Now I just noticed that uh, I've made his top lip way too long so I'm going to correct that. The mouth is actually more, more about there. And then the chin is somewhere around about there. So I'll remove the, the dodgy bits in just a second. But before we correct that, let's just add um, some pink to the ears. And then we can use some of that same colour around the nose as well. And then I just want to warm up parts of the fleece, so I'm adding a little touch of orange here and there, or it's a pinky orange I guess. And now onto some pure titanium white. I'm going to put this on reasonably thickly. So the light is catching. the very top of the head and the top of the ears So gradually filling in areas of the face and head that are pretty much pure white. So if I was spending more time on this I would probably introduce a hint of different colours to the highlights. Thank you. 
And in fact, let's do that now. I've added some Silurian blue and a little bit of um, the yellow ochre. And we'll use that to pick out the lighter parts along the back, and then blend some of that in across the surface of the body as well. include some of that in the face. Need a touch up on the ears I think. Now I'll come back to finish the detail of the head in just a moment but in the meantime I need to work on this undergrowth here and I'll begin by introducing some darker shadows. So I'm beginning that process with a nice mix of ultramarine blue and uh, cadmium red. I'm just putting down some random shadows there. And then with a quick spray of the water bottle on both brush and uh, paper. Just going to tease these out a little bit so that I get varying thicknesses of paint, different densities of shadow. can even take some of that up over the top of our sheep. So that it really looks like he's bedded down in amongst the grass. And now let's very lightly drag some thicker yellow and white paint mixed in together. Over the foreground. And as we drag that through the background, little bursts of green will be created. And we'll also start to give the impression of light cascading down and striking the, the grass. And then I think for this one, I'm just going to work on the detail of the head now and, and uh, improve that a little bit for you. So I've zoomed in a little bit for you and let's start the, uh, the work on the head by refining the shape of the nostrils. Do something similar for the mouth. A touch on the eye there as well. Now the mouth isn't quite finished so I'm applying a mixture of magenta and 
and some blue. Because if you look closely, the where the seam of the mouth is, it's very, very dark here, but then rather lighter uh, elsewhere. So I use that same colour just underneath the chin there. And why not keep going? We'll, we'll pop a little couple of details on the face. A little edge to the nostril there as well. Use some of that same colour for the ears. Now, I think I'm actually going to add a very light line underneath that ear just to add a little bit more definition than there was before. And next we must do the eyes. So I'm going with pure cadmium yellow for the moment, but I will, I will adjust the colour a bit in just a second. So I'm having a little bit of trouble here because the paint is still very wet and very thick lower down the painting. So I need to be careful to keep my hand away from that. So let's put a little bit of life into the eye, but it's a bit too bright at the moment. So I'm just mixing up some yellow ochre and we'll put that over part of the eye and introduce a little hint of that on this right hand eye as well. And I think we're almost there for this one, for, at least for the purposes of this demonstration. So what I will do, though, is just add a few more touches of white, a little flick over the eye there. Just shape the nose a little bit better than I had. And I think we'll call this one done. So let me just give you a better look at the painting. So actually I've just decided to add a little bit of a different colour on the top of the head. And we'll use some of that as well over here. And then I think for the purposes of this demonstration, at least, I'll call this painting of a sheep lying down in the English countryside pretty much finished. So I hope you really enjoyed watching the demonstration. If you have any questions at all, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or send me a message or something. Always very happy to help. And in the meantime, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.